Hello guys, welcome to this step-by-step -step tutorial on installing Ubuntu 24.04 LTS in VirtualBox. By the end of this video, you'll have a complete understanding of how to set up Ubuntu operating system on a Windows PC using VirtualBox. Make sure to stick around until the end to follow each step and ensure a smooth installation process. Now, let's jump right in and get started. To install Ubuntu 24.04 in VirtualBox, hardware virtualization must be enabled on your PC or laptop. If hardware virtualization is not enabled, you'll need to access your BIOS settings and manually activate it. Once enabled, you can confirm its status by checking the Performance tab in the Windows Task Manager. You can see in virtualization, it is enabled. Using Task Manager, you can confirm whether virtualization is enabled or not. Now, let's begin installing Ubuntu on VirtualBox on a Windows 11 PC. First, open your preferred browser and go to VirtualBox official website to download VirtualBox for your PC or laptop. Then, in website menu, click on download. At the time of recording this video, VirtualBox 7.1.6 is the latest version. While VirtualBox is downloading, next, head to the second website to download the Ubuntu ISO file. I will provide both VirtualBox and Ubuntu website link in my video description. This is the latest version of Ubuntu at the time of this recording. Once the downloads are complete, Go to the download folder and install the VirtualBox application. I have already installed the VirtualBox application in my laptop, so I will not reinstall it again. You can install the application. After installation, run the VirtualBox. We're in the VirtualBox user interface. Let's get started by creating a virtual machine for Ubuntu. First, click on the new button, assign a name to your virtual machine and choose the folder where all the VM files will be saved. Then in ISO image, choose the Ubuntu ISO file we have downloaded. Next, set the type to Linux and select Ubuntu 64-bit as the version. In the hardware configuration section, you'll need to allocate RAM and CPU resources for your virtual machine. My system has 12 gigabytes of RAM. I'll assign 6 gigabytes to the Ubuntu virtual machine. For the CPU, my system has 4 cores, so I'll allocate 2 cores for optimal performance. Next, in the hard disk, allocate a minimum of 25 to 30 gigabytes of storage to Ubuntu for smooth performance. I'll assign 30 gigabytes to ensure ample space for the operating system and additional files. Click Finish to complete the setup. As you can see, the Ubuntu virtual machine has been successfully created. Before starting Ubuntu, click on Settings, then select Display from the sidebar and increase the video memory to the maximum. If your computer has a dedicated or powerful GPU, you can enable 3D acceleration. Also, if you encounter this type of error during installation, select the VBOX SVGA option from the Graphics Controller drop-down. This should resolve the issue. However, if you don't experience any errors, you can keep the default VMSVGA option. In my case, I encountered the error, so I will choose VBOX SVGA. For the network settings, you can select the NAT option if you want VirtualBox to automatically assign an IP address. If you'd prefer to use your local IP address, choose the bridged adapter option. Selecting this option will assign your virtual machine the same IP address as your router. For this VM, I'll stick with the default NAT option. Once done, click OK to apply the settings. We've finished configuring the virtual machine. Click the start button. Now, use the arrow keys to select Try or Install Ubuntu, then press Enter to boot into the live setup. Proceed by selecting your preferred system language and clicking Next. For the accessibility options, leave them unchanged and click Next. Then, choose your keyboard layout, 
US or UK based on your preference and click next to continue. For the internet connection, leave it set to wired connection. An update is available for the installer, but we will skip it and proceed with the installation. You have the option to try Ubuntu before installing it by selecting the Try Ubuntu option. However, for this setup, we'll choose Install Ubuntu. Click on it and proceed by clicking Next. Next, select Interactive Installation and click Next. On the Applications page, you can either choose the default selection, which installs essential apps, or the extended selection, which includes additional apps. I'll go with the default selection and click Next. Then, check both options to optimize your computer by installing the recommended drivers and click Next. For the installation type, select Erase Disk and click Next to continue. Now, create a user account by entering your Ubuntu login name and password. Be sure to remember these credentials, as they will be required to log in after the installation. Once done, click Next to proceed. Select your time zone and click Next. Here is a summary of the installation. Click on Install Ubuntu to begin. The process will take 5 to 10 minutes, so sit back and be patient. Once the installation is complete, click Restart. Now the system will restart. There's no need to manually remove the installation media, as VirtualBox will handle it automatically. Press Enter to continue. And there you have it. Once the login screen appears, enter your password to log in. That's it. We've successfully installed Ubuntu 24.04 in VirtualBox. And that's how you can install Ubuntu 24.04 on VirtualBox in Windows. If you ever need to delete the Ubuntu Virtual Machine, first make sure it is powered off. Then, go to the VirtualBox main interface, select Ubuntu from the sidebar, right-click on it, and choose Remove. In the pop-up window, select Delete All Files to completely remove it. That's it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I'll be happy to assist. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.